going to do a quick little introduction to algebra tiles. So um, we're going to have some shapes that we are going to talk about what they could symbolize. So if this distance is 1, and this is a square 1 by 1, notice the area of this is 1. So this tile has an area of 1 and side lengths of 1 and 1. And now if I keep that side length 1 and I stretch this down an arbitrary length, like a length that I'm not sure what it is, might make it a little narrower just so it looks like it matches better. Um, this distance is still 1. This distance is x. This is an x tile. And then if I take something that's x by x, the side lengths of this are x and the area is x squared. So this would be an x squared tile. So if I wanted to represent something like uh, 3x squared plus 4x plus 2, it would look like, like this. I'm going to bring a picture up. Something like that. And I need my plus 2 in there, so I'd say plus 2 as well. And notice that with this, I have 3x squared. I have 4x's. It doesn't matter how they're aligned. And I have two ones. So I could represent this uh, polynomial, or this statement, with that shape, that collection of shapes. All right, let's, let's look at another one. Um, let's think about what 3x plus 5 would look like. Well, it'd be 3x's, so however you want to align them, plus 5 ones. So 3x plus 5, that's what that looks like. Um, 2x plus 3, okay, so 2x's plus 3 ones, 5x's, um, and then negative 2 ones or minus 2. So you could think of this as two ways. You could think of it as you're taking away two of these ones, or you could say, I have, um, if you just shade them, they'll be negative, negative 2. So this is 2x plus 3 plus 5x minus 2. And notice what we can do here is we can combine some terms. So like if I look all together, I have two of them and five of them. This is the same as 7x's. And these two negatives and these two positives make a zero, so plus one. So this simplifies to that. If I wanted to see what 4x squared plus 7x looks like, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm doing something off screen uh, that I will show in just a second. 7. I could have something like, well, that's only 3x squared. So I need 4x squared. I could have something like this. Notice I have 4x squared, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 x's. And again, the, the, the direction that those x's are laid down right now is arbitrary. We don't, we don't care how those get laid down. So if I think of something like this, I've got 5 x's. So 1, positive 3 x squared, negative 4 1's. Two more x's, a negative x squared, and a negative 2, so two negative ones. So let me see. This is a 0, right? Those, those basically undo each other. Um, so I have 2x squared, uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7 x's, and 6 of these negatives, so minus 6. So I could put them together that way. We'll continue building on algebra tiles in this course.